Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Devin. Today I'm revamping the lighting system inside our shipping container. The lighting's worked great for the first year and a half that we had it, but this summer, the glue that we used to attach the magnets to the yardsticks failed. And I think that's just because we've had two solid uh, months of 100 degree temperature almost every day. And finally the glue just degraded and the lighting system failed. So now I've got all these magnets still attached to the ceiling of the shipping container and I have lights that are attached to yardsticks with glue residue on the back of the yardsticks scattered along the ground. So we've come up with a new system to use, very similar to the old system. Instead of using JB Weld to attach magnets to the back of the yardsticks, we're going to be screwing in a different type of magnet. So I'll show you the components of that here in just a second. We're reusing the lights themselves. We're extremely happy with the lights. Uh, I will put links down below of everything that we're using here. The lights themselves, I looked today, they're still $42. They come in a six pack and they were really great. So the only thing we really had to buy for this 2.0 uh, were these magnets. And these magnets are super strong. They're one and a quarter inch diameter. Hopefully that's in the shot. And they have a hole that receives a uh, countersunk screw. Now it comes with screws, but those screws are too long. I used a quarter inch countersunk screw. Now the tip did protrude just a little bit, but I went ahead and clipped on one light just to see if it mattered and it didn't, but I can't leave well enough alone. So I used a Dremel uh, to knock that down just a little bit. So for each light, you're gonna have one yardstick. Each yardstick, you're gonna have two clips that receives the lights. Those clips came with the lights and then two magnets. So the lights come with the clips uh, and the screws I use with those. They do protrude, but it's no problem because when you attach it to, this, to the roof, to the ceiling, it's gonna be in this open void area, if you will. Does that make sense? So for installation, the first step is to find the center of your shipping container front to back. I have a 40 footer, so I'm gonna count off 20 feet and then I'm gonna put a marking down in the middle. And then we'll pull the ladder out and we'll move up top. Okay. So I marked front to back uh, of the shipping container as well as left to right. So I've got that mark. This is the cord that's gonna be going between each light and it comes with the lighting system. So fold that over, mark where the middle is, and now I know where my light, end of the light's going to be. The light is 10 inches longer than the yardstick. So it's 46 inch per light. So keeping that in mind, and it doesn't have to be perfect because when you put the clips on, the light itself slides in those clips. So, let's just say I'm over here a little bit. I would mark where the magnet's gonna be, and I like to put a little circle on the side of the, the magnet, and then on the side of the yardstick, I put a hash, and that's going to be where the clip is going to be. So the clip is gonna be on this side, so that screw is gonna protrude a little into this void, which is fine, there's plenty of room. So I mark on both sides where those clips are gonna be and where the magnets are gonna be. Now, one thing I really want to point out is every three feet, there is a seam and that seam creates a bit of an issue. So it's still easy enough, especially if you're doing each, um, each light at a time to just mark that you need to be moved over a slightly from that seam. All right, these magnets are super strong and they're gonna to want to grab and slap and they can crack, they can shatter actually. So be careful with it but there's no getting around it to some degree. All right, and then to install the light, it's a breeze. There, that's that easy. And now we're just gonna daisy chain them. All right, so I'm gonna keep moving. It's really hot. Obviously you don't wanna see me do every one, so, oh, maybe I'll do a time lapse, that's fancy. All right, guys, that's everything. No complications, went up very quickly, very easily. Um, makes a world of difference in here, especially in the back. When you, when you get away from these front doors, it's normally very dark in here, but now the lights, awesome, love it. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. More than happy to, to help you out. Uh, really happy though, less than $100, and we got good lighting.
Thanks a lot.